So this is a battery from a NIU or new um, N1S. It's also the same as an NQI Sport. Uh, this is a 60 volt, 29 amp hour battery. Uh, I need to replace the BMS in this thing. It was working fine for months and months and then it suddenly stopped charging. And um, checked with NIU and they said, oh, the BMS needs to be replaced. So they said, take it to a dealer. Um, I decided not to. I ordered a new BMS from AliExpress. It cost about a hundred pounds, uh, delivered, and decided to do it myself. So first step, there's four very long bolts holding this cover on. I've already removed them take it off um, and it's actually you'll know that you can't without doing a lot of damage really remove the cover from the top of the battery um, the next step is there is some silicon uh, basically holding this in kind of gluing it in place you basically need to get down there with a, a screwdriver and carefully just pry it away from the edges to loosen it up and that'll allow the battery to come out so what I'm going to do is set it on the side and then ease the battery out from the case. That's done. You can see the chunks of white silicon that were holding it in place. Now actually, that was a silly idea because the BMS I want is on the other side, so I'll flip it over. Very carefully sets aside. Okay. So you can see the BMS on top there. It's held in by some screws. Um, this one connector we can just remove. It's just connected to the case. Gently pull that out. This is going to be very difficult because it's, these cables are very, very tight. So I'll probably just hopefully just loosen that and get it have to wiggle that out probably sideways um, this one is annoyingly got glue on it so that'll be fun taking that off um, but that needs to come off too otherwise there's not much else holding this in place okay I picked away the glue here and I can just pull that out and then what I'll do is take these two connectors off next and then I'll try to and then get to the screws and uh, try to slide this out Okay, so I removed the four screws holding the, the BMS down and obviously these two terminals. I put a bit of tape on that just in case, just to protect it. I've been prying away at this. Here we go, that's coming out. <clears throat> there we go, that's done. And now, ah, oh, because there's a fifth screw. Good thing I noticed that. So that's removed to the side, and we'll do the incredibly exciting unboxing of the new, no pun intended, BMS. <clears throat> and let's just hope it looks the same. Um, and it doesn't, which is a bit concerning. Um, Kind of hard to tell from this package, but you can see it's shorter already. I well, that'd be fun. Um, it does look like the same type of connectors, somewhat. Um, certainly, this big connector looks the same, and there's a bunch of cables in there, which is a bit concerning. So, great. Okay, so I've actually read the instructions now that came with it, and I can see how everything goes together. Uh, one of the big differences is that the original temperature sensor cable, which is here, is not used. They have their own temperature, temperature sensor uh, cable, which uh, has these long wires, which I presume just wrap around the battery. 
otherwise the communication wire uh, plugs in there as normal this big old thing plugs in here and then of course these attach there um, and unlike the old board which had five screws this only has four at the corners and i've actually double checked that this time interestingly enough they actually have a link to a youtube video which i'll put in the comp in the uh, description below as well in which they say it's exactly the same size and they show another battery so i may have bought the wrong BMS, I don't know. It apparently is meant to work with the 29 amp hour battery. Uh, hopefully it does. One thing that this has that the original BMS does not is that it has a Bluetooth module, which is this thing here. So that's interesting. Um, and you can get a an app for, I guess, monitoring the battery. Um, the manufacturer is Yang Yang. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to use that, but I may as well plug it in. So I'll just now connect this with the screws and start plugging stuff in. Already run into a slight problem. I connected this big connector first. Interestingly enough, uh, a few LEDs lit up on the board. These are definitely not... Uh, there were no LEDs lit up on the board on the old board. Could be because there are no LEDs. I'm not quite sure. Um, but... Got a problem here in that these screw holes don't line up with the board exactly so that'll be a challenge and there's really not much play in those cables so i'm not quite sure how that's going to work okay i got everything connected um my solution for not being able to use the original screw hole mounts is to basically use cable ties this is so tight in against this case anyway that it's not going to be going anywhere so um, that'll be fine Bluetooth modules here, lit up, and yeah, temperature sensors. So I'm now going to put this carefully back into this case and then do one final check before screwing things. So the battery's back in its case. You can see the Bluetooth module flashing down there, and there's actually plenty of room. I took a bit of electrical tape and just secured it to the side. Temperature sensor cables are in, so now I'm just going to put the top back on and put the four screws back in. Okay, the battery's back together. I installed the Yan Yang app and was able to successfully pair it with my battery in the Bluetooth module. And this is showing me that I've got 65.23 volts, which is good. Um, I can tell the type of... This is this BMS is apparently from the 23rd of November. Um, parameter settings. It's a bit funny, it started off in <clears throat> in Chinese scripts, so that was a little bit concerning, but I was able to find a button that made it into English. Um, yeah, I don't know what I actually use for this, but it seems that everything is fine with the battery, which is a good thing. And, oh cool, because the cell voltage readouts. Um, excellent. Now I just need to see this successfully charges and will operate anything so the battery is now charging so replacing the bms has fixed my problem hope this is useful for anyone else that has a similar issue with their niu battery